Hello children, good morning. I hope you all are fit and fine at home. Now, I am back again. We already read lesson number 6, the boy and the toffees and we done book exercises. Okay, now today we are going to do notebook exercises. Before we start this video, I would like to request to you, please take out your notebook, pencil, eraser, whatever you want. So it's easy to do the work. Okay, now take out your notebooks. I hope you open your notebook. Okay, now we are going to do notebook exercises. Okay, first you have to write lesson number six and then you have to write the name of the lesson. What is the name of the lesson? Yes, the boy and the toffees. Yes, so you have to write lesson name. The, the boy and the toffees. The boy and the toffees. Okay, then underline with the color pencil. And you have to give one finger gap. Understood that? After this, you have to write section A. And what is first section? Yes, dictation words. So, section number A is D-I-C-T-A-T-I-O-N. Dictation words. W-O-R-D-S. Dictation words. After that, Number one. Number one is party. E A R T Y. Party. Okay. Now I'm going to repeat. You have to write. First of all, you have to write lesson number six. Then next line, you have to write lesson name. After that, you have to write section A. And the heading is dictation words. And the first word is party. P-A-R-T-Y party. And the number two is Toffees. T-O-F-F-E-E-S. -F -F -E Toffees. Then number three Groceries. G-R-O-C-E-R-I-E-S. Groceries and the number four is yummy. Y U double M Y yummy. And the number five is cupboard. C U P cup B O A R D cupboard. Okay. Now, you have a space in your notebook, but I don't have a space. So, you can write dictation word continuously, but I am going to write here. Okay. Number six is slowly. S-L-O-W-L-Y. Slowly. And the number seven is Unable. U N A B L E. Unable. Understood that? And the number eight is hard. H A R D. Hard. And the number nine is shoulder. Shoulder. S H O. U L D E R shoulder and the number ten is gently G E N T L Y gently okay now I'm going to repeat number one is party P A R T Y party number two is toffees number three is groceries number four is yummy Number 5 is cupboard and number 6 is slowly. C 
सेवन इज अनेबल एट इज हार्ड नाइन्थ इज शोल्डर टेंथ इज जेंटली ओके आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू टाइम सो यू कैन राइट दीज वर्ड्स इन यू नोटबुक विदाउट स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक एंड नीट एंड क्लीन हैंड राइटिंग ओके नोट एट डाउन इन यू नोटबुक I'm going to rub this. Okay. Now, after section A, you have to write section B. Leave one line. I hope you are writing on the next page. If you are writing on the next page, then there is no need to leave one line. Understood that? Section B is make sentences. S E N T E N C E S. Make sentence. Make sentence. Understood that? And number one is mother. M O T H E R. Mother. I'm going to write. I love my mother very much. Okay. And the number two is house. H O U S E. House. Radha's house is very big. My house is very big. I love my house. Understood that? Radha's house is very big. Or you can write Radha's house is very beautiful. I like Radha's house. Understood that? And you have to underline the word. So it's easy to understand. And the last one is Sunday. Sunday. Now think what we have to write. Sunday is a holiday. Simple. And you all are enjoying your holiday. I know very well. Sunday is a holiday. Full stop. Okay, I'm going to repeat. Section B is make sentence. Number one, mother. M O T H E R, mother. I love, L O V E, love, M Y M I, M O T H E R, mother, very much. Then, full stop. I love my mother very much. Understood that? Now, you have to give one finger gap. Then, you have to write in your notebook. Understood that? Number two, house. Radha's house is very big. Okay. Third and the last, Sunday. Sunday is a holiday. Okay. Now write it in your notebook with one finger gap and neat and clean handwriting with full stop and commas. Okay. Write it down in your notebook. I'm going to give you time. Write neat and clean. Now, I'm going to rub this. So, 
Again, you have to leave one line and write section C. Right? Section C is rhyming words. Okay? So, after this, you have to leave a line and write section C and the heading is rhyming words. Okay? Now, section C. Leave a line and write section C and the heading is R-H-Y-M-I-N-G rhyming words. W-O-R-D-S words. Number one, tell, T-E-L-L, tell. What are the rhyming words of tell? Think, bell, fell, hell, okay? Now, B-E-L-L, bell, then comma, and fell. Okay, number two, can. What are the rhyming words of can? We already done. Think. Can, fan, pan, han, man, van. So many. Okay. Now I am going to write fan and man. Number three is cry. What are the rhyming words of cry? What are the rhyming words of cry? Fry, try, F R Y, fry and try. Okay. After this, so you have to write number four. Other, O T H E R, other. What are the rhyming words of other? Mother, brother, okay. M-O-T-H-E-R, mother and brother. B-R-O-T-H-E-R, brother. I'm going to repeat again. Rhyming words. Section C is rhyming word. First is tell. What are the rhyming words of tell? Bell, fell. Number two, can. Fan, man. Number three is cry. Fry, try. And the last one is other. Mother, brother. Okay. I am going to give you time so you can note it down on your notebook with one finger gap. Okay. So it's easy to understand what you are writing in your notebooks. So I am going to give you time. You can note it down in your notebook. So I am going to draw. Now you can write section D. First you have to leave one line. Then you have to write section C D. Opposites. Okay. You have to write opposites. Okay children, now leave one line then write section D. Opposites. O double P O S I T E S. Opposites. Okay. Number one is Sweet. What is the opposite of sweet? Mita. Yes. Sour. S O U R. Sour. Mm. Sweet. Sour. Number two is young. Y O U N G. Young. What is the opposite of young? Old. Yes. O L D old. Number three. Noisy. And O I S Y. Noisy. And what is the what is the opposite of noisy? Quiet. Q U I T E. Quiet. And the number four is. Bye. B U Y buy. It's not a buy. It's B U Y buy. Buy means Kharidna. Okay. 
बाय मेट बाय वॉट इज अपोजिट ऑफ बाय खरीदना बेचना सो बाय सेल एस ई डबल एल सेल ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू रिपीट सेक्शन डी इज अपोजिट एंड द नंबर वन इज स्वीट सॉ सॉ स्वीट नंबर टू इज यंग ओल्ड ओल्ड यंग नंबर थ्री इज नॉइजी क्वाइट क्वाइट नॉइजी नंबर फोर बाय सेल सेल बाय ओके नाउ यू कैन नोट इट डाउन क्विकली विथ नीट एंड क्लीन हैंड राइटिंग I'm going to give you time. Note it down fast. Okay, children. Now we are going to do section E. Question and answer. Okay, this is your heading. Question number one is. Where did Arnav's mother hide the toffees? Where did Arnav's mother hide the toffees? So you have to write question W H E R E where did D E I D did Arnav's Arnav's Mother, M O T H E R, mother, hide, H I D E, hide the toffees, T O double F double E S. Then question mark. Then answer. Where did Arnav's mother hide the toffees? कहाँ रखी थी अर्नब की मम्मी ने टॉफीज यस अर्नब्स ए आर एन ए वी अपोस्ट टॉफी यस अर्नब्स मदर हाइड एच आई डी ई हाइड द टॉफीज टी ओ डबल एफ डबल ई एस टॉफीज in a jar in a jar okay arnav's mother hide the toffees in a jar okay leave one line then write question number 2 how did arnav reach the shelf how did arnav reach the shelf How H O W how did D I D did Arnav A R N A V Arnav reach R E A C H reach the shelf S H E L F shelf How did Arnav reach the shelf And the answer is Yes, think about. Arnav stood on a stool to reach the shelf. Arnav, A R N A V. Arnav stood S T W O D. Stood on a stool S T W O L stool to. R E A C H, reach the shelf. Reach the shelf. Shelf. How did Arnav reach the shelf? Arnav stood on a stool to reach the shelf. Understood that? Write it down in your notebook with one finger gap and. Neat and clean, neat and clean, handwriting. Understood that? Write it down. I'm going to give you time. Okay, I'm going to rub this. Now, 
Leave one line and write question number three. Leave one line and write question number three. Okay, children. Now leave one line and write question number three. Who helped Arnav? Who helped Arnav? किसने मदद की अर्नव की Who helped? Who helped Arnav? Yes, उसके ब्रदर ने ना अर्नव्स ब्रदर अर्नव्स ब्रदर अर्नव्स ब्रदर रोहित हेल्प हिम Who helped Arnav? Arnav's brother Rohit helped him. Okay. After this, you have to leave a line. Then write question number four. What happened to him when he was taking out the toffee? What happened to Arnav when he was taking out the toffees? Yes, Arnav's hand got stuck in the jar when he was taking out the toffees. What happened? What happened to Arnav? Happened to Arnav when? He was staking taking out the toffees. What happened to her now when he was taking out the toffees? Then we have to write the answer. Arnav's hand got stuck in the jar when from the question when he was staking out the toffees Okay, what happened to Arnav when he was taking out the toffees? And the answer is Arnav's hand got stuck in the jar when he was taking out the toffees. Okay, now write neat and clean with one finger gap. Use comma and apostrophe S. Understood that? And full stop question mark. So it's easy. I'm going to give you time. So you can note it down in your notebook. Neat and clean when with one finger gap. So children, it's enough for today's class. So you have to learn your book exercises and notebook exercises. Till then, stay safe, stay home. We will meet in the next class. Okay, bye-bye.